Viewers know how much I like orphan cars and what a supreme example of 55 Kaiser. How did this come into your collection? Actually, this one I looked for. I, I wanted a 55 Kaiser. I, I knew that was their last year of production. I joined the Kaiser Club. I got a list of everybody that owned a 55 two-door. That was important to me. And I got a list of probably 30, 40 people that supposedly had a two-door. And I started contacting them and said, you know, I'm looking for a car like that. Anyway, I got some responses and boiled down to two cars. This one, which was in Canada, and one that was in the East Coast. This looked to be a much nicer car, and I talked to the gentleman. He was interested in selling it. Came up with a price. Uh, he brought the car down here to Paul's boat to deliver it. And uh, he was in Canada, so the car was registered in Canada, and I had to go through customs with it. And uh, customs said, well, that'll be 300 and some dollars. And I said, for what? He said, well, you're importing a, a, a German car. I said, would you go out to the car with me right now? This is made in the USA. And he, oh my goodness, he says, well, good thing you noticed because you'd have never got your money back. So here I have it. And interestingly enough, the guy called me a couple months ago and indicated he might like to repurchase it, but that's not going to happen. No, no deal. No. 54 and 5 Kaisers, very similar, correct? Um, there were only 44 of these made. Uh, and there's this long story why they do that, but uh, the only difference between a 54 and a 55 is the hood ornament. So that had that was what they did to make it different. And uh, all you got to do is buy a hood ornament, and you can make your 54 into a 55. No, the serial numbers, of course, mm -hmm. would. I don't know much about the mechanics on a 55 Kaiser. Is it a flathead six in there? What's going on? Yeah, it's an interesting car, um, Kaiser was the only 55 car that did not have a V8 engine available. They had the Flathead 6. And they had struck a deal with Oldsmobile to put Oldsmobile V8s in them, but the V8 plant burnt down uh -huh. and uh, the deal fell through. So Kaiser at the last minute in late 54 put a supercharger on their Flathead 6, which raised the horsepower from 115 to 140. And that 140 was kind of at the bottom end of the V8s in 1955, and it's quite peppy uh, considering it's a six-cylinder car. If somebody was trying to find a supercharger for a 55 Kaiser 6, I bet that's a difficult piece to find. Uh, on con contraire. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, it's the same supercharger that they used in the Thunderbirds. Ah. It's the same supercharger they used uh, in the Studebakers, mm. and they are quite plentiful, okay. and they're not too expensive. Uh huh. To, to think what could have been a, a 55 Olds V8 in one of these, that's pretty exciting. I, I, I think it would have been a very peppy car. Mm -hmm. Say again, how many of these did they make? 44 two-door 55 Manhattans, and they made a couple hundred of the four-doors. Okay. So only 44 of these. Yeah. Wow, this and, is a rare car. I think car. there's about six left in the registry. Uh -huh. so. And this is probably maybe the nicest one. I think so. Mm -hmm. 